Hi everyone, welcome to Friday's Home Wad. Uh, today is a workout that will focus a lot on some shoulder uh, stamina, some good hip activation, um, and some good core work. Uh, so for today, warm up is going to be three rounds. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is just going to be two minutes of cardio. So this can be anything that you want. Uh, nice jog, uh, some skipping, jumping jacks, uh, going up and down stairs, just something that will get the heart going and get that blood flowing through your body. Uh, the next movement are just going to be eight alternating sumo walkouts. So what this is going to be, it's going to be a nice wide stance with your legs and that partial squat. You're just going to take nice big wide steps back and forth, just going eight per side, trying to get nice big wide steps, staying in that squat, um, should start burning through those glutes. If you have a band, you can add that around your knees, make it a little bit more challenging, uh, get those muscles fired up even more. Once you're done that, then you are going to do a 30 second hollow hold. So if everyone knows what a hollow hold is, just trying to keep that seat position on the ground, um, keeping that core nice and tight, trying to keep the feet off the ground, feet together, um, also keeping those shoulder blades off the ground and your hands above your head. So you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds and go back to those movements another two more times. So three rounds total. Once you've done all that, you should be nice and warm, maybe a little bit of sweat on already. You're gonna go into the workout for today which is gonna be an 18 minute EMOM. So every minute on the minute, you're gonna be alternating through different movements. Um, the first movement is going to be three wall walks. Uh, so if you have a wall that works for this, awesome. Um, if you haven't tried anything against a wall in your apartment, your house, make sure it's a pretty sturdy wall. Um, ideally, having concrete behind the drywall is a good idea. If not, just be really gentle with this. Make sure you're not kicking into the wall at all, um, just be careful. And I'll also show you an alternative, but for the wall walk, just make sure you're walking those feet up, um, going into as much of a vertical position as you can. Um, ideally, full wall walk is with your, no, with your nose touching the wall, um, but go to wherever you're comfortable. Um, so just walk yourself up, walk yourself back down three times in that minute. Um, if you're not able to do the three in a minute, uh, just scale it down to what you can do. Uh, if you don't have a wall that you can do the wall walk, then the alternative movement um, is a plank into a pike position. So for this one, you're just gonna start in that front lean raise, fully extended, nice solid plank position. Then you're gonna walk your hands towards your feet until your body is in a nice pike position, just like this here. So plank position, you're gonna walk back into that pike. And out. So again, doing three of those um, or whatever you can do in that minute. In that second minute, you're going to do 10 body ropes. So um, this has been done in the past. Uh, so if you have a set of rings, if you have a bed sheet, you can hook through a door for, or over a door um, or a table that you can pull yourself uh, underneath. That's awesome. All you're wanting to do, keep that good plank position, pull yourself up to whatever object you're using really squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top. Um, if you don't have a table, a chair, a door that works for this, set of rings, anything like that, um, then you can uh, sub it just for a body row, or sorry, a power row, um, with any odd object, dumbbell, kettlebell, anything you have. So just here, nice power position, just squeezing that dumbbell up towards the chest, and back down. So again, choose a number per side um, or just a number in total that you can do in that minute. The third minute uh, will be uh, eight one-arm Russian kettlebell swings. Um, so for this, if you have a kettlebell, awesome. If you don't, use any odd object that you have. Um, and then just go from there, going between the legs, good hinge at the hip, really squeezing those glutes on the way up. And again, choose a number that you can do um, in that minute. And you're just gonna go through that for the 18 minutes. Um, once you're done all that, get a good stretch in, recover, and have lots of fun with this one. Thanks for listening, have a great day.